My name is Spike Sutton. My name is Darren Horn. My name is Anna Grace Dugan. My name is Brady Mount. My name is Cesar Valdez. My name is Brooke Mitchell. My name is Dalton Guthrie. My name is Dustin Forsyth. Uh, back in 2014, I received the uh, Ryan Swain Memorial Scholarship uh, through the FFA. I received the Ryan Swain Memorial Scholarship in 2014. I received the Ryan Swain Character Memorial Scholarship through FFA in 2015. Uh, I received the Ryan's Foundation Scholarship uh, in 2015. I received the Ryan Swain Scholarship in 2015 for athletics. I got the Ryan Swain Foundation Scholarship in 2016. I received the Ryan Swain Memorial Scholarship for FFA in 2016. I received the Ryan Swain Memorial Scholarship for athletics of 2016. I am currently a junior at Henderson State University and I'm majoring in natural resource management uh, through their recreation department. And uh, my future plans are to hopefully, hopefully graduate, maybe I'll get through it, and, uh, and then maybe get a job with uh, the Game and Fish Commission or the Corps of Engineers, or I may just stay with the family business and continue working for Sutton Lumber Company. Uh, whoever wants me more, I'll go work for. I'm going to school at Arkansas Tech University, and uh, my major is Social Studies Education. I'm also getting my minor in physical education and I plan on being a coach and a teacher. I'm currently attending school at Henderson State University where I major in nutrition and what I plan to do with that in my future is to go to UCA and get accepted at the occupational therapy program. I'm going to National Park uh, Community College right now and planning on transferring to Southeastern Seminary uh, North Carolina to get a uh, biblical studies degree. Like I'm currently enrolled in uh, MPC, National Park Community College. I plan to get my basics there and transfer to Euler uh, to hopefully get a degree in construction management. I'm going to Henderson State University and I'm going to be majoring in radiology, right, no, radiography. And I'll have two years at Henderson and then two years at Baptist Health in Little Rock. I'm going to Henderson State in the fall and I plan to play baseball and go to uh, school to be an accountant and get my CPA and then after that I'd like to have my own business. My plans are to attend National Park College and receive an associate's degree and transfer on from there to receive a bachelor's. I remember that night whenever, uh, you know, it was during the banquet and so, you know, I really wasn't thinking about getting any awards or anything. I was just trying to get through the night and not mess things up being president so I remember uh, Miss Christie getting up and I went to sit down and finally could had a moment to relax and I just started listening to her and uh, as she started reading off stuff I was like that sounds familiar and uh, and then lo and behold uh, my name was called at the end so uh, you know a lot of emotions that you know were in me throughout that entire year sort of came back at that one moment and uh, so I was, I was very proud but also very humbled to be given something you know in Ryan's name and that uh, I myself you know they said displayed something that Ryan had, so it was a very humbling and a very big honor to receive. Uh, what this scholarship does is uh, it honors those students that you know have leadership qualities and uh, have a character about them that you know shines through their actions. And uh, today in this society, especially, we need that uh, in students to be role models to you know younger students and sometimes you know for adults to see that hey these students you know they're going above and beyond to be kind, to be generous, and if they do it through faith and if they have Jesus Christ in their hearts, then you know, those, those people, they can accomplish anything and that's what this uh, scholarship really highlights. To me, Ryan's scholarship is uh, awarded to someone who shows the same great character and respect that Ryan did to his family, his peers, his friends, just everyone in general that Ryan came across. And to be honored with this scholarship is uh, very humbling and exciting and it makes myself proud to know that I can be considered in the same lot with Ryan. I love how the scholarship, the name of it is the Ryan Swain Character and Memorial Scholarship. It was awesome to receive this scholarship my senior year at my FFA banquet for the character part. It meant a lot to me showing that I have those qualities of leadership and character that Ryan Swain possessed. Their family have been a blessing to me 
all throughout my life. And it was just amazing to receive this scholarship. The Ryan's uh, Foundation Scholarship means uh, so much to me um, just because uh, to be able to grow up with Ryan as a uh, going to church together and being best friends to being able to say he's a brother uh, is very humbling uh, for me to be able to be considered in that conversation to be chosen for the scholarship. So uh, I think the world of the Swains, um, their perseverance and heart in all of this, uh, I can't imagine what they've been through and yet they sh show so much passion and so much love for God. Um, it inspires me to continue on uh, in daily life. Uh, so the Swains mean so much to me uh, and the, receiving the scholarship meant so much and was such a humbling experience. So. When I first got in 2015 I was like pretty surprised because there was many people in that grade that had that character as well as I did but uh, really a shock and uh, truly a blessing when I got it. Uh, it meant a lot to me. Uh, it helped me out a lot in the scholarships I received, and uh, it's just an honor. Um, the scholarship to me, just when I got it, all I could think of was it was the Thursday night before his ac Ryan's accident, and I was going to a football game up here, junior high at Center Point, to watch my little cousin play, and Ryan was walking about ten steps in front of me. And, you know, I was there, I was just being able to drive, so it was the first time I'd really come over here since I'd moved in fifth grade. And I was walking in by myself, just catching everybody's stares, you know, and he turned around and looked at me and said, well, hey, Brooke. I was like, hey. He said, how are you, Ben? I was like, good. He said, just coming up here to watch some football? I was like, yeah, my little cousin's playing. He was like, all right, cool. He said, well, you should come to tomorrow's game at Derrick's. I was like, yeah, me and Hayes were planning on it, you know. And he said, well, all right, well, maybe I'll catch y'all then. And it just kind of made me think, you never know your last interactions with someone. So you're really just left with, if something were to happen to you, what is your impact on someone's life the last time you were with them? Or if something happens to them, how you're going to live with what you did the last time you were with them? So that's just kind of what it meant to me and just to know that the committee and the Swains saw something in me that they saw in Ryan to get this scholarship and that <laughs> makes me feel good as a person. So when I got the scholarship I was the one that had to MC the banquet and like after I got it I got back up there and had to talk and I couldn't really talk because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know like to say thank you I and mean, of course say thank you. but. I didn't know, I didn't know what to say. I was, I was speechless, and uh, it means a lot to me because I was pretty close to Ryan, and it means a lot because he, his character showed everywhere that he went, and for Charles and Christy to hold me to that level of, I guess, character and that level of a person, it means quite a bit. Uh, receiving the Ryan Swain Memorial Scholarship was uh, a, a feeling of great accomplishment and just an honor, mostly. You know, uh, Swain is what I called him. I never really called him Ryan. He's he was a great kid, and uh, he he lived it out on a daily basis of what it meant to just be an honor, an honorable, respectful man, young man, and uh, being able to be put in the same class as him by the, my coaches, people that were around me more than pretty much anyone. It was just a great honor, and uh, you know I think about Swain all the time. I, I wear his. Uh, original wristband and then the, the perseverance one and I look down at it throughout the day and uh, I think about them all the time and uh, it just pushes me even more to be an exa example for Christ and uh, an example of just an honorable young man to represent uh, Center Point High School and my family and everyone and I also just want to give um, Charles and Christy just a great just a thank you for uh, everything that they've done for me and for also for just raising a wonderful young man uh, named Ryan Swain that taught me so much and uh, just every day pushes me, even though he's not still here, to be a great, great person.